dude. What's up? We're rolling. We should just pretend this is a live stream. Be like, oh my god, it's fucking live. Because people get to live watch it. Or my mic. God, fucking. Start it up now. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing there, big guy? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm doing all right. Now. I'm gonna start dadding everybody now. Hey, what's up? Yeah. What's up, champ? <laughs> uh, my dad listened to the podcast and he was like I heard some of it, it was just dude this dude fuck dude sick dude fuck oh what he's like how do people listen to that junk Je- <laughs> like, obviously dude. jealous he is a jealous old bitch you should tell him you're fucking jealous dude I did I tell him he's jealous all the time what's he say Shane <laughs> I could you don't think I could have been doing that if I wanted that's a tough that's a like, tough I'm funnier than you bud Damn! What do you think? You think you could? You think you can enter the market and he knows, take you out? He knows he can't fuck with me now. True. Look, even though I didn't get it, that SNL credit—it's a strong credit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, for that's geezer, that's a, that's a big time geezer respect. Like, all right, maybe you are actually funny. Oh, for sure. Like, and then to get kicked off for the reason you got kicked off. Like, damn, kicked off for being too wild. Yeah, you too wild, boy. Yeah, that's a good. I mean, you got <laughs> geezers across America were were full support of you. I would say. Yeah, the geezers are in. Look at that. Chug that. Yeah, there was nobody. who Anyone I told what happened, they were just like, man, it's hilarious. That's funny. The geezers, full support, dude. But we were just talking about it. Did we delete that whole episode? Yeah. All right. Good. Let it die. We put one out. We, put, we just recorded one with very low energy. Low energy for us. And then my green drink. Now you had your green drink. Now I have my yellow drink now <laughs> we're fucking amped. i need to get amps too bro true damn dude you're sipping a, are you allowed to show the label oh <gasps> damn dude salt life we're gonna eat, oh that's fucking sick these are miller salt lives yo so how's the salt life continuing dude this is this is starting to turn into an actual salt life i know i know you are yeah, actual once, salt once the salt life be, once salt life becomes mundane it kind of loses its charm you're like a native you hawaiian know? Yeah, it's weird. It's, but it's, uh, I was just recently reinvigorated by the arrival of Chris O'Connor, Brian Six, and Kyla. Right, but you're so, a local now. It's only piss you off. I'm a local, so I'm kind of disappointed in the way they've conducted themselves on yeah. my beaches. Yeah, dude. You know you I mean? like, they yeah, think like, it's fucking spring break party time. And nah, I'm like, people live down here, dude. the beach. Yeah, people live down here. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I've, been, <laughs> I've been like on O'Connor's ass. Like, no matter what he does, I'm like, dude. Slow down. It's a long. We got a long week. Can't be getting <laughs> shit faced every night. And then I literally, he was like, "Dude, you fell on the beach." I I was running wind sprints. I told you this. I was running sprints on the beach uh, two nights ago. <laughs> That's okay. too, thinking about Hammer you were just, drunk. Yeah, What's the th- I, I still don't know the thought process. So you're, you're I don't drunk. know it either, man. You're Look, drunk. When you're down there, it's it's insane. It's the craziest thing in the world. Like when being on the beach. beach being on the beach at night like that, hammered, literally no one's around. You can't even see anybody else. It's a private beach. It's just you. What? And, the star- and just the stars. It's fucking insane. I didn't know it was a private beach. And it's like the, the sand is like totally flat. Like it's crazy. It's like powdery, nice sand, not like shitty. Like well, this was, I was down by the water. So okay. it was like just, yeah, pure. It felt like, you know, walking on like a street. It's just flat. It was great. Yeah, you, know, you start moving a little. You start. I started dancing a little. I had some headphones in. I was dancing. That's I used to, nice. I used to be a dancer, dude. Were you really? Why'd you stop? Because ah, it's gay, and I can't do it publicly. No, you, you should get start, me alone, dude. Dancing. I dance like nobody's watching. You got to start dancing again, dude. That's from a, from a. I, I, I watched this YouTube guy. He was like talking about from a shamanic healing perspective. That's the number one question you have to ask. Some people have to ask, "When did I stop dancing? When did I stop singing?" And when you start, when you figure out when you stop doing those things, that's typically when bad stuff started happening to you. Yeah, bad stuff will stop you from dancing for sure. Yeah, man. I mean, I my <laughs> dance ends dancing. My dancing life is very, uh, mine's very fraught with anxieties, racial barriers. Because when I, I, you know, I'm going to weddings where I'm the minority, dude, and I feel like a specimen. Like I have to, like now, you know, of course I have to. Everyone's expecting now me you to, have to fucking yeah. crush it, and <laughs> it is weird though, because dude, it's like if you oh, man, it's, imagine you, the other way though. Imagine if you were a black guy who couldn't dance, and he went to like an all white wedding. You'd still be better than everybody else. Everyone was like, "Come on, get out there!" No, there's <laughs> black, there's black dorks. There's black That's dorks. True. No, there are. Uh, 
there's actually a good amount of black people that suck at dancing. That's actually, that is confirmable. But yeah. standard, standard issue, fucking kills it, dude. <laughs> standard issue, black guy. Kills it. It's so much better than the average white dancer at a white wedding. So I was like, down there, headphones in. Just, I mean, unbelievable moves. You're like a black dancer on the beach. The moves, it was unbelievable. What'd you do? What, kind of moves? what kind of moves? Hit me with the moves. <laughs> You, you think I'm fucking? You think I was born yesterday, Matt? <laughs> no, I want to know. Like, what were you doing? You think I was born yesterday? So there's that one big one everyone's doing right now. They go. Ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. Did you see that? That's, no, a that's the currently move? a viral dance craze. There's Let a song. There's a song where everyone walks like this and goes, Ch -ch -ch. and then the next person comes in and he goes. Ch -ch -ch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen that. Um. That's a whole realm of being, dude. Just a like, line of people. Well, no. The do you see the Cardi B thing where it's, it's like, like coronavirus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was not. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, bro. You don't think I've been practicing? Damn, dude. There was a it's Cardi life, dude. I go down. It's dance life. Also, True. I go down. I dance. I run. I do up downs. Dude, post post corona. No, this is what happened. I literally woke up that day and I was mm -hmm. like, damn. I used to like play basketball every single day, like hard. I yeah. was like, dude, if I ran right now, I think I would fall apart. I was like, what am I doing? What am I? And then I was sitting down at the beach. I was like, I haven't been like hit in forever. I was like, when's the last time something hurt? That's a that way that got process. me. That got me doing some up downs. <laughs> Started diving straight on my belly, and I was like, all right, this hurts. So you you inflicted some pain on yourself. I wanted to see what it felt like. I haven't, I haven't had contact in a while, bro. So what are you going to do about the fact that you you started you did that workout on the beach at nighttime? You weren't were you happy with it? You know, I was delighted. I mean, despite so I started running some sprints and then uh, I fell hard <laughs> on one of them, which uh, was inevitable. Because I was like, I was like, damn, dude, I'm killing it. I can move. Mm -hmm. It's like holy shit, I forgot I can actually run, and then I fell pretty hard. Damn, bro, scrape my knee, dude. I got a bomb knee now. You have a boo boo. I have a bit of a boo-boo. You got a boo-boo on your knee? I have a boo-boo. <laughs> yeah, Let me see that thing. <laughs> ah, and a, that, and a, a decent stinger. bruise. That's a stinger. You see that bruise? Let me see that bruise. Ooh, that'll come out in the next couple of days. It's and not yellow that, yet. It's it's yellow is healing. Boy, if it's yellow, that's it's healing. That's salt life, though. That's just however it goes. You get scratched up, man. It's no big deal. <laughs> I thought that was boogie rash. I thought you had a boogie board rash. Nah, it's the sand burn. Have you boogied at all? No boogies. The water's too chilly. What? I mean, I'll go out there strictly wetsuit, to press. Wetsuit. Strictly to whiz. I, yeah, I did see they were selling wetsuits, and I was thinking about buying one. You have to get one. Because anytime somebody with, like, my body shape is in a wetsuit, it's very funny. It's kind of that's, – that's not bad. When you get fat – when you get somebody with, like, love I've handles. Never, in I've a, never seen a bigger dude in a wetsuit, actually. <laughs> I've never seen a bigger dude in a wetsuit. Well, there's no point for me to. I don't come out and, dude. I'm I've never, a, I've never I'm like seen a, a BBM. Grass. I've never seen a BBM hop in a wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> you're one too, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. You got some bitch ass hips. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just. Uh, what would I be known as? I'm, I'm thick. No, you're not. You have I'm thick. You're fat, BBM. Well, you, you have you're fat BBM. hips, dude. Shut up. <laughs> you're BBM. I'm thick, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking chunky. BBM. Chunky at most. Yeah. I'm chunky I'll at most, that. dude. <laughs> no, nah, you're rarely chunky, but you do have a you do have a very unathletic frame. You built like <laughs> not true. I have a big you're, ass dude. You're very broad, but very non-explosive. I can tell there's no explosive Please, movements. Please, that's all I have. That's all I am is explosive. Matt, I know you dude. don't have explosive movements. Are you serious? That's yes, all I have. You shit that's... on your own ass today, dude. You're not an athlete. That's explosive. <laughs> you shit all over yourself. That's why we had to wait. Yeah, my bad about that. The podcast was delayed because I, I took a, oh, I took a dump that it was a healthy one too. The dump itself wasn't bad it was just but it just wasn't my complete and you tried it wasn't to, you totally complete it. i think i might have been doing like a too hard of a workout or something the day before and must have shocked my digestive system you sent it to you sent the turd to the guillotine too early <laughs> you guillotine the turd <laughs> i've robespierre the turd too early dude <laughs> and then the yeah the turd's head smeared up your crack well yeah I, I literally i was telling you earlier i wiped my ass and gave myself a white a racing stripe right on the tailbone dude and just full-on war paint and was like fuck man yeah, dude, you had that old shower. Herbie. Hit the lockers, dude. You had like, the Herbie, man. dude. You had the love bug. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I got same thing. Got off the toilet, left a like a stamp down on the to- my upper butt crack somehow. Dude, I, I run into those on the like on because oh, I you know I travel fuck, a lot. Man. I'll run into those <laughs> those Rorschach dumps on the back, the stamps on the back of the toilet seat where like someone Banksy. clearly just. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like all the time dude rest stop i do also i live salt life and rest stop life you do live that's that might be the trucker kiss mark dude <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if they do have like street artists like you said like banksy <laughs> like if someone takes a dump like that they're like damn dude will was Tiny here Mouse was here <laughs> can't do it oh my god i can't stress it enough dude three days how, how many good. days do you think this country would last without truckers uh it wouldn't it was 72 literally. hours 72 hours dude this country would fall apart let's just let's let that be known well it's that actually is truckers. that actually is true yeah dude without the truckers we'd be, we'd be i mean we could I replace really them with robots that. tomorrow but <laughs> dude i'm saying well, we can't replace them with robots yet we need them until we replace them with robots what the fuck are we gonna do with them the truckers yeah fucking kill them dude I think we should just slaughter them. Or just let them sit in the robot. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to do it, they can sit like, with the robot. Like a mech suit? They can like be inside yeah. of it like Starship Troopers? Yeah, they, well, they got to defend it from pirates. Oh, fuck, man. So that's they could, that's basically, that's, that's like Old West, like riding shotgun. <laughs> Dude, you know you how many just truckers? have them with a gun on the robot. That's what the <laughs> truckers get to do. You can still get head at rest stops <laughs> Dude, once we automate trucking truckers are gonna never stop like sucking dick and blowing each other oh man they're already acclimated to the life of just sucking dick dude when they <laughs> have to do it for money they'll be able to pick like, like a young like meth out like twink up and 69 with them from like los angeles to like missouri <laughs> <It'll be> like, <laughs> oh my god yeah if they're in the automated truck <laughs> they'll get like bathtub fingers on their dick dude they'll, <laughs> they'll stay wet <laughs> Now we're grooving. See, dude, we're moving. We're grooving, grooving dude. First episode stunk. That's a secret sauce, dude. Get it now out. Now we're just like, dude, fire it up. Let's talk about truckers. This 69. is that other part of the turd that was still in us, dude. <laughs> it is. It absolutely is. We beheaded the first one. Hell yeah, dude. I'm fucking stoked to see you. In the I got new luxury. neighbors, dude. Who are they? I don't know. I might have to fucking. As soon as shit pops off here, I'm gonna fucking cut everyone's heads off. Have you thought any kind of survival strategy? Yeah, that's why I brought Beezer and O'Connor. Not that they're the best, but it's good to have some bros. True. It's good to have a pack. And would you? How would you utilize them if you like? If something like you know, obviously you're gonna. No matter yourself. what, no matter what, they're both they're cannon fodder. Both of them are fodder. You would send them out. So if something's coming at us. <laughs> I'm gonna team up with one of them and turn on the other one and throw him at the feet of whatever's coming at us. You also have a woman in your house. You could. I mean. She's, She's first to go. She's going to be tossed into the trade. fire. She, might, trade she might not survive before the rapture. She might be sent out to sea just off bad performance. You might. This you week. might. You could. You could flag down like a Cisco truck, dude. Get some supplies. You could just have to. You'd have to True. trade her in a sex slavery. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I have no problem killing any of the people I'm with right now. That's also important. Yeah. For your for that. your post apocalypse squad. No, they can never know that true that's true no they, yeah it's all to, bro- it's they brotherhood need to think that i love them and it's brotherhood but the, the best part you need to put together a pack of dogs that you are willing to sacrifice any of them true for the minimalist of gains yeah I'm, I, I would, would kill o'connor for a bag of rice would you i sack, mean if it came down dude if it, i i have been thinking about like if it because i was in i think target and i saw people like somebody had something someone had toilet paper like the last like, i don't know if it's the last one Bro, but- i i'm sorry dude. i do, sure dude the toilet paper thing it bothers me so fucking much it makes no sense to stock up so hard it really oh, doesn't toilet paper. it doesn't it's it's a uh, why is that the why is that the it's a it's like a o'connor was talking to me about it. it's like a run on a bank where they're like hey i heard everyone's taking their money out well then i'm gonna fucking take my money out yeah same thing with toilet everybody was like you gotta stock up on toilet paper yeah, they're, well, they're operating. Uh, I'm gonna go buy it. it. It's primitive behavior, dude. They're not even thinking. It's, it's like hard. almost not. It's almost not even fully conscious. It's like, oh fuck me! Like I saw a lady with like five gallons of milk. It's like, how are you even going to consume that? What are you? <laughs> what, what are you doing? We got uh, one, and it was a mistake. <laughs> what, what, fucking, what am I gonna drink a gallon of milk right now? It's panic buying, dude. It's these people. This is like the the. This people are using the parts of their brain that like tells them to slam the brakes, but they're out in public. Like, well, I gotta get this. Uh, panic buying, bro. I like that. Yeah, man. 
I watched that David Icke documentary. He talked about it. The part of the slam in the brakes, that part of the brain. I like that. That's what. That's how people are operating. Right but yeah, now. It's, uh, yeah. Walking, walking down the grocery aisle with zero, z- the whole row empty of yeah, toilet paper. Yeah, pisses me off, dude. And it's like, what fucking dumb pussies went out and bought all of them? How is like, just grab paper. one and fucking chill? Or dude, grab, exactly. You know, grab two. Grab two if you're gonna be a dickhead. Well, I have a house full of baby wipes, so I'm chilling. Right, that's all I bought. The only things left were flushable wipes but they come in like five packs i bought two of those i was like you have bro. 10 wipes yes dude <laughs> that's not gonna they're, they're small it's like that what do you mean that's not gonna last you have 10 individual wipes 10, 10 packs, packs oh wipes. 10 five packs you got 50 wipes i have a ton of wipes dude that's good that's all you need dude damn dude what do you think about this uh apocalypse that's impending do you think what do you think is going to happen here I'm gearing I think up. We're going back to, I think we're going back to work in about two weeks. Uh, that's your prediction. With or without a vaccine, I think we're going back because we're, we're not going to risk uh, you know, yeah, the Yeah, I think they're going to stay. I think they're going to – yeah, I think you're right. I think after two weeks, they're going to be like, all right, if you are somebody with a compromised immune system or you live with one, you guys can continue to quarantine yourself. But if, if you want to hit it, open it back up. And people are going to open back up. And, you know. Yeah, they're going to have to. I read someone uh, – actually, the uh, – the scientist, the unnamed scientist who does the Patreon stuff, he sent me a study today saying they're starting to figure out there's like certain climates this disease uh, thrives in. So they're, they're going to be able to start predicting it according to weather patterns where it'll hit harder. Mm. You know? um, so that's kind of... My guess is the climate is Asian cities. <laughs> <laughs> dystopian, yeah, dystopian technocratic empires. New York yeah, City, yeah, yeah. Wuhan. Italy, New York City. I th- I feel the West Coast has got to be getting trounced by this fucking thing. I don't think not as hard as New York, man. New York's getting, New York's getting it bad. Yeah, dude. New York's getting murdered. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, New York's yeah. a, 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 the biggest hub, like yeah, one of the hubs in the world. Like yeah, and I guess it, New York's way on more. It's more on top of everybody. Like everyone's more on top of each other. L.A. You yeah, L.A. spread space. out. Yeah, you got some space. Yeah, I was just being racist. Oh, you think there's a lot West Coast of just has a ton of Asians, yeah. It does, actually. My friend lives... Uh, West Coast is loaded with Asians. Yeah, my friend lives out there, and it, it's like he's pretty much... He's a minority. His, his community is literally is mostly Asian. <laughs> Dude, know what's weird, too? And I told him this. Um, he had corona-like symptoms. He thought he had pneumonia like four months ago. And I'm like, dude, you might have had coronavirus. It was funny. So I'm like, you think you had COVID? He's like, I, I don't know. He doesn't entertain stuff like that. He's like, I, I mean, there's a friend of mine that was a waiter at the stand that had pneumonia for like a few weeks. Asian. Really? And he had it. <laughs> oh, look, I'm just saying. <laughs> I say it's not about where you're from. It's just about your ethnicity. That's the only thing that this, this disease only came from Asian people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo. Jackson, you Push motherfucker. It. He's pushing it out, dude. I must. Chew him upstairs, dude. Wait, till you, look at his fat ass, dude. He's calling me fat. Look at his thick butt when he runs up the steps, dude. <laughs> so he's wearing a thong too. <laughs> Back, baby. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about? Non-explosiveness, dude. What are you talking about? Come on now. You see, see me jump that big bag chair? See you, Branson. I was flying, <laughs> dude. I have a lot of uh, like scouts look for like a man with like a prominent rump and i do i, I told you that i told you that i knew that i, told I knew you that. scouts would just saw my ass i'm like you play Matt, sports i and told I was like, you that uh, scouts saw, it, they call me like, line it's nice to have a thick rump and i have a flat butt i got a nice hank hill butt <laughs> just a flat it's so gross dude dude scouts from all different sports would call me they saw my ass in high school and they were just like you play sports they tried to recruit like, me no just off, just i don't play ass. sports no, just off my ass. I so like, I play rugby. Play a little like, rugby. No, no, no. We said sports, not fucking <laughs> clubs. <laughs> not after school clubs. I mean, you know, what were we, the fourth team in the nation? I forget. I, I honestly forget. Every single rugby team <laughs> believes that they were like ranked in the top 10. We, I mean, we were, but yeah. Every I mean, single again, rugby, there's, there's 900 different leagues. You guys are all top 10. It's for real. It's Special Olympics for kids who couldn't play football. No, what happened to me? <laughs> What happened to me, I was too good at all American rugby. sports. I had to go international. High school rugby is Special Olympics for kids who couldn't play football. No, nah, it's not. Every high school rugby team is like, yeah, we were undefeated. 
Yeah, they've. I mean, flew we down were, to Florida for a tournament. It was fucking sick. We, we, we went to we DC, Texas. Texas. Yeah, we, you know, we traveled. <laughs> we traveled. <laughs> so, oh, we, we what were we talking about before we broke? We we're talking about COVID. Dang, we we're talking COVID, weren't we? Yeah. So, what would you do? You're talking about what would I? What am I going to do? Survival wise, or what? What am I thinking? I don't know. He, I, I, Okani put it put some good thoughts into my head. He was just like. I mean, once he said it, it was like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, I guess, common. He was like, it's going to get to a point where we're just like, how many lives are we willing to lose here in order to make sure the economy doesn't totally collapse? So I'm sure we can lose a million plus geezers. I mean, dude, ask yourself. Send everyone back to work. Fuck it. Ask yourself this question. Uh, Since when did the government give a fuck about geezers, dude? When, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting David Icke on this, but it's like, that's a good point. He's like, so you're going to tell me the government's going to sacrifice the national, maybe global economy for geezers, the same people yeah. they've been cutting their benefits for years for? Come on now. Yeah. On. Ask guess, yourself that. What, what does that indicate? Maybe uh, that's a little more serious? No. Yeah, it does. It, it's basically, this is, a, this is a new world order stunt, basically, where it's like, this, this is going to allow the technocrats, this is going to give the technocrats reason to start tracking your every move, everything on it was well. They the reason they said that uh, certain countries like didn't get as sick was that they would trace your location and then see whoever was around you and then tell all the force all those other people in a quarantine. Like China yeah. was able to, China will lock you in your room. They they'll say go yeah. to bed. They'll lock no they'll, they'll, they'll lock your apartment. Tell you, it's bedtime. Yeah, they'll lock your apartment from outside. Um, so Dude, those videos coming out of China. I see the thing is I don't know how many of those are real. But it's always like them, like ripping people out of cars and shit. Like I don't think they fake. They're getting either. rowdy. There was one I saw of like a like chain gang of sick people. Like they were like handcuffed in a line, getting marched out of a town. What the fuck? I mean, also even if it's not real. There's still a chain gang in China. So like yeah, they're still doing people. that. Also, what's really funny is China was like China announced like this week. They're like, no, we have no new. Uh, cases this week it's like yeah sure china <laughs> <laughs> fucking liars dude you guys lied non-stop <laughs> i mean apparently i think they said it, it honestly is like when iran was like no we don't have one gay guy here oh yeah for sure like, okay yeah thanks like, thanks for that report thanks china it, well, thanks for your report no new cases this week okay i think now they're <laughs> saying officially it came from pangolins and not bats so it came from like armadillers no. oh okay like a penguin. said penguins. No, penguins. Yes. Like a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, I've like seen a, that boy. Yeah, did you munch him? He's got like a, munch him? No, but I, I guess I guess it was some sort of bat penguin combo though. You had the so you had the fucking sky in turf. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, Senor, Senor, mucho. It's all it's also funny we all get our news from like memes now. <laughs> like uh, people get news from memes where it's like, oh shit, that's that's true. Like it's apparently, I saw a meme today, and I don't think it's true. But apparently, the like mayor in this uh, Chinese or er, Italian town, maybe city, I forget, was like, "Hey, let's during when the, during the COVID outbreak, he was like, let's make sure you like reach out to your the Chinese people that live in our city, like hug hug Asian people today." <laughs> they all got COVID. Oh uh, wait, people. This was like, a bad hey, meme. That was a bad meme. People were staying away from them. Yeah, there was like an Asian dude with like a sign that was like, "Asian people are not the virus." I'm a person. Free hugs. <laughs> people were like hugging him, and everyone got sick. That uh, was a meme, and it wasn't true. <laughs> There's no way that was real. There's no way that man That's what hugging I mean. everyone was responsible. No, of course. How many deaths I mean. do you There's think a- he did cause? I know he didn't cause 4,500, but like, how many deaths do you think the hugger did cause? Inadvertent. 25 to 30. <laughs> <laughs> you killed 25 to 30 Italian WAP fucking bananas. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I was, was Oh shit, we were talking about it. I was like it's funny that the the country's getting crushed the hardest. So WAPs and Chinese people. <laughs> Literally the two countries we make fun of the most. <laughs> we were, I was on dad meat trying to figure it out. My theory is that they kiss each other all the time. Italians were kissing their cheeks. Yeah, they were constantly transmitting that. That shit spreads uh, so fucking fast. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> like, uh, this is a great bat you have prepared for us today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the bat. And they, like, mm, mm, mm. Spreading COVID everywhere. Uh, that and China has a pretty strong presence up there. A little it's Silk right? Road action. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So, 
Really? I don't know, dude. I think it might have been U.S. that caused it. Then, well, did you, ever, did you look into the thing about the Harvard Chinese scientist? Chinese are reporting that it was us that did it. Did you look into the Harvard scientist who was on uh, Chinese payroll and then got busted and got, he was getting paid like $50,000 a month. <laughs> From China to, this, to this blame definitely it happened. on us? I mean, no, no, no. It, it wasn't. He just was doing medical research for China and America and getting $50,000 a month. And then like they found, you're not allowed to do Damn, that. Apparently. His Patreon was fat. His Patreon was looking good. I mean, his, his Patreon was tight during the, the Chinese <laughs> government China. starts giving your Patreon. Yeah. They're, it's going to be fucking tight. It's going to be fat. But yeah, dude, 50 million. I think you know, he's getting $50,000 a month and he got busted apparently like doing research for the people's Republic of China. And he got like arrested and you know, shit, he got in trouble for it. So people are trying to say that he was inventing or like engineering COVID. That's, that's the theory. Really? That's a bad theory. Yeah, I mean, he, this guy was... I would like to know what the fuck this guy was doing, though. <laughs> doing secret research for China for 50 Gs a month. First of all, they shouldn't have paid him that much. He wouldn't have gotten in trouble. Yeah, true. Like, here's fucking $100,000. What, what, yeah, what, what research was he giving them? I, nobody knows right now. I don't know. He's probably giving them, like, Netflix passwords. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not that... <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. But I, I do think, dude, we're coming out. The there's going to be a mandated vaccine. They're going to start man. I, that's oh, that's 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 you fear that. I've been on this tip, dude, and it's not it's not about people conspiring to events. It's all about the spin. So people, they're going to spin this into like, dude, the drug companies that we're going to have five gazillion. You know, there's uh, there's a vaccine court. Or they got rid of vaccine court. You used to be able to sue companies for damages from vaccines. It's gone. You know who pays for it when people do get damaged from a vaccine and actually prove it came from the vaccine? You know who pays for that? American taxpayer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if, if you put out the vaccine, you, you can't get in trouble if it fucks people American up. Taxpayer. American taxpayer. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't even be on the air right now. Damn, I put down these high lives, by the way. I don't I know if you, you noticed that. Them down? I've been fucking housing these bad boys. Anyone give you a talking to for fucking going through the rations? Nobody here can tell me shit, dog. You should go boss some people around. I'm paying the. I, who do you think is paying the rent? True, dude. Who's put, who do you think is putting a roof over these fucking scoundrels' dude, heads? You got to you got to mandate dinner times. Like, imagine how racist a video has to be where Shingula says no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, dude! Did you ever get into Mark Wahlberg's checkered past? So he he assaulted a fucking. Dude, didn't he? Dude, he's like multiple hate crimes. Oh, okay. I'm not going to slander him. <laughs> His first charge was like throwing rocks at black kids and like doing some like Bronx Tale style being like, you motherfucking blah, blah, and like hard what? ends, throwing rocks at them. I think he did that twice. <laughs> I think he has two hard end rock throws at black kids, like chasing black kids. What? Out of That's the beginning of it, dude. And then he beat the fuck out of like a, I think a Vietnamese guy. Yeah, that's the one I know. Beat the fuck out of him. Then he beat the fuck out of another Asian guy or something. Dude, he's like, <laughs> Mark, the fact that Mark, well, I was just watching his Netflix movie, dude. Oh, that Netflix dude. movie is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I only saw, I only saw. You the loved movie. it, dude. God damn it. No, you I didn't. Loved dude, it. you're speaking for me. First of I all. Saw you, I saw you pull back and be like. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, I'm not, as I've only watched the very beginning. So I watched him like uh, it's just it's every single Mark Wahlberg movie where he's just yeah. It's like you know Adam Sandler is like the coolest fuck. It's every movie is about him being like so fucking cool and at all. least Mark Wahlberg is jacked. True. The thing when Adam Sandler is <laughs> the coolest. Adam Sandler for some reason is the coolest guy in every movie, and it's like, why is this like five foot nine Jewish dude <laughs> the coolest guy? Why are we? Letting him like knock people out. There's like movies where he <laughs> knocks people. In Mr. Deeds, he punches. There's a. I rem, I'll never forget it. This is when I like even as a boy, I started to notice that Sandler was making himself the cool guy. Yeah. yeah. In every movie, Sandler like wrote himself in. Is like, and then when he talks to girls, he's like, oh, sh I don't know. I'm just a gentleman. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. I don't know. He punched. Uh, in Mr. Deeds, he punches a quarterback that he owns the Jets or something. Mm hmm quarterback comes in and is complaining and says something to a woman wrong and mr d and adam sandler punches him in the face and was like i'm sorry i'm sorry you just don't talk to women like that <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what the fuck yeah mark Wahlberg is you're very Wahlberg esque you're right about that i am i am Wahlberg. the movie oh you said the movie Wahlberg rules he dude i mean and the list of hate crimes you just said to me 
upped his stock a well, little bit in my book. It's funny if I pretty, had known he was out th- rock throwing. <laughs> he's rock throwing, bro. <laughs> he was I mean, rock throwing in like the eighties, eighty six. Yeah, crazy. when I was being born, Mark Wahlberg was throwing rocks at black kids and calling them the N word. I think the day I was born. Damn, you know how vicious it has to be in eighty six to get a hate crime on you. That guy was doing like nineteen forty hate crimes, bro. Like, dude, if that guy was in Brooklyn in like 1930, I'd be like, all right, man, you got to let him live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fucking 86. He was, he was like holding it down like, he, like they were like just segregating <laughs> schools, dude. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I mean. And I then he made rap videos. Oh, natu- of course, yeah. I mean. This is next progression. He probably, Marky Mark was probably just him being like, I don't hate black people. What are you talking about? Look, Your Honor, Exhibit A. Dan, feel Dan, it, feel Dan, it. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that was just because he threw stones, dude. Wait, Marky Mark. You tell me, Marky Mark has four hate crimes on his record, dude. We can we can verify now. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, bring up the screen and say Google did Marky Mark throw rocks at black people. All right, let me find this thing. Let me see what's going on here. Uh 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 uh. uh. Sorry, I was just watching Trump serve that dude yeah. up. Sorry, let me Hilarious. just... Hilarious. 14,000 who are sick. Millions, as you witness, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Watch his chest with Trump's body. That's what I say. Right. <laughs> work I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're Can doing you sensationalism... You and uh, the same with NBC awesome. and Concast. I don't. That fucking lady back right has been dressing like a Star Wars character every <laughs> single press conference. Yeah, Full what is she? Fucking, she literally dresses from the future in every ep- in every one of these. Why does she do that? I don't know. I don't know. And uh, most of the time, her hair actually is the exact same color and texture as Trump's. So if they stand, <laughs> if they stand close enough to each other, it, it's so funny, dude. They just blend. Yeah, you gotta watch it. It's it, when you That's watch all so of them; they're really funny. great, including her star, her constant Star Wars outfits. Mark Wahlberg's Wahlberg. a tough spell. I wouldn't have thrown in the H. Hey, I Kern. think I spelled it right. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be all about him beating up Asians. Don't eighty-eight. Okay. He attacked Asian men in eighty-eight, dude. Yeah, dude. He like broke people's jaws. <laughs> Let me see. Whoa. A pardon. Yeah, he tried to he so he tried to get a a pardon for like beating the fuck out of the Chinese guy. And then when he got it, he like was like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have tried to get that. Uh let me say. Mark Wahlberg throwing rocks. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's check out the Wikipedia, dude. Washington Post had it. <laughs> Damn, that's a weird picture of him. That might have been right after a good. He looks like fucking, a former skater, dude. That's 2017. Let me say, early life. Wahlberg was born. Wait, okay. Did you just say he had four spouses? Probably, bro. Scroll up. Wahlberg might be the goat, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, children, four spouses. Hold on, scroll down. It's on the right. How many spouses? Oh, here we go. Just one. R- All Ray right. Durham. All right. I thought I, I I just saw the. The four while you were scrolling, I was like, dude, if he has four different wives, he literally is. If he has a wife for every hate crime, <laughs> I think you got to re up every hate crime you do. You got to get a new wife. <laughs> I don't think they make it through those. Uh, yeah, so youngest nine children. Uh, his dad was a delivery driver. So he is of Swedish and Irish descent, and his mom is English ancestry. So I don't parents- like that. No, and it's so, like that mom side. Okay, so Mark Wahlberg was addicted. Excuse me, Mark Wahlberg was addicted to cocaine at thirteen. So, three years All later, right. after becoming addicted to cocaine, um, whoa, yeah, Mark Wahlberg went whoa. forward in the paint, dude. Wahlberg and three friends chased after three black children while yelling, "Kill the N word!" <laughs> well, you know, I love how they hyperlink that. Like you're gonna, cl- you can click this one. <laughs> Click the N word on this. Is this a trap? (laughs) What is that? Click the N word? Yeah. Click ah, click it. (laughs) Yeah, they 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 have a whole what the fuck? Who wrote who wrote the Wikipedia page for that? First of all, hold on, now I'm just intrigued. (laughs) I mean, dude, there's like nine pages on etymology. 
All right, that's just aggressive. Well, true. It wouldn't be bad to see who came up with it. To see who I think it was well, the you, Dutch, dude. I think the Dutch and the Portuguese were dropping it first. You think they started it? Well, apparently they anyway. started and Mark Wahlberg finished it. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then at eighty eight, after chasing black kids with rocks. Uh, the next at, day. What? The next day. It says, here, stop scrolling. Okay. <laughs> Throwing rocks at them. The next day, Wahlberg and others followed a group of school children taking a field trip on a beach, yelling racial epithets at them, and throw, they threw rocks again. And he summoned and other summoned, people. He's like, come on, guys, come on, Summoned other gang. white males who joined in the harassment. Come on, guys. Was, he was yeah, just a 80s. lifeguard. He was a lifeguard at the time. Yeah, the lifeguard, <laughs> lifeguard popped off the shades. It was like, oh, shit, we need to climb down the ladder as fast as he could. It's like, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Popping off the shades, <laughs> running down as fast as you can, dude. Oh, Mark Wahlberg, happening? Mark Wahlberg, Baywatch, where it's just him like this, and he's like three black, three Puerto Ricans. Let's go get him. He's fucking just Mark Wahlberg sprinting at the beach. Get the fuck out of here, my fucking yeah. So he, and then eighty eight, dude, he, he cooled off for two years. Eighty eight, he assaulted <laughs> a middle aged Vietnamese man, calling him a Vietnam fucking shit, and he hit him with a large <laughs> wooden stick. He hit him with a fucking Donatello, dude. Fucking Wahlberg Donatello, a Vietnamese man. <laughs> he called him a Vietnam fucking shit. <laughs> With a stick. <laughs> a large. And then he attacked a second Vietnamese man later the same day, punching him in the eye. What? Dude, he went on a fucking tear. And then when he was arrested and returned to the scene of the first assault, he told police officers, I'll tell you now that that's the motherfucker whose head I split open. And they noted that Wahlberg made numerous unsolicited racial statements about gooks and slant-eyed gooks, end quote. Mark Wahlberg. Whoa, mine, not he was mine. charged with attempted murder? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark. I mean, yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean. He only served 45 days for that? Yes. He pleaded guilty. He was sent to two years in jail. Yeah, he, he pleaded guilty to attempted murder and, murder and served 45 days? <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's Mark Wahlberg. He had to get out there and do some other shit. I think that was when he was filming Fear. They're like, all right, come on. And then he fractured his neighbor's jaw in 92. But I don't. <laughs> I think it was a white guy, so we're all good on that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Holy fuck. And then, Whoa, became, and then in 1990, he just became a rapper. No, 06, he, he, he got another Asian, I think. Oh, no, no. He oh, said no, he would he meet with him and make amends. So then he, uh, he requested a pardon. Uh, and then Trin released or tr- whatever tr- tree released a public statement forgiving. He forgave Mark Wahlberg for calling him Vietnam fucking shit and hitting him with a stick. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. A bow staff wow. attack on a Vietnamese guy. Yeah. <laughs> do you think That's he was the wrong like, choice? Do you think he at least flipped it around real cool and was like, <laughs> definitely. If I know Mark Wahlberg, I know he definitely <laughs> did something cool with that bow staff. I love how all of his movies are like stopping about like the Boston Marathon bomber. The <laughs> he was beginning. always the bad guy in real life. <laughs> yeah, he's just a fucking bad guy, dude. He's just out beating the fuck out of innocent people. It's just hey, him. What, dude, it was the 80s, bro. It was a different time. True. I mean, yeah, I can't say that. I mean, he's I was grown. born in 86. He's, he's became a, first off, he's become a millionaire ever, ever since. So I'm sure True. he's grown and matured. He did. No, I think he did. I think he... Uh, I don't if know, though. You think there's part if, of him? You think if he sees a large wooden stick on the ground, he's in Chinatown, he might have to be like, Mock, <laughs> don't do it. Mock. Don, I, he's got to call Donnie. Donnie's like, Mock, don't do it. It was a mess last time. You just leave, put the stick down. He's like, I'm just, dude, I could spin. If I fucking spun, I could probably hit like three. You. I could do it. I could hit him now. <laughs> how the hell did he make it through the – how did he – I guess there's a grandfathered in. If you beat the fuck out of Asians or threw rocks at black kids in the 80s, early 90s it's like you're good don't worry about it well it's funny too because i feel like a lot of i would say a lot of black women love mark Wahlberg, and it was fun for me to sit there with my wife and she pulled it i was like i think he like hate crime people and she was like nah and she was like pulling it up i was like whoa oh she saw the wikipedia yeah, dude he was in fucking transformers <laughs> black people love transformers <laughs> well dude i, I think black they all forget bright and transformers I think they forget the high lives are taking hold, dude. High lives are getting you. <laughs> you're saying that no, you're saying I all, just remember Sprite, Would you say black Sprite people are more likely to obey their thirst? 
black people are definitely more likely to obey their thirst. <laughs> they do obey their thirst, dude. 